So there I was, the small YouTuber that I am, trying to find something to upgrade my audio with a limited budget. So then I decided to look on YouTube. Nothing. Everything was really expensive, kind of out of my price range. So I did what most broke wannabe YouTubers do. I go to U- I go to eBay. When I'm in eBay, I'm looking and I'm looking and I'm looking. Everything's still very expensive. And then I come across this older Shure microphone, the SM89. How to power it? I don't know. Should I get it? I don't know. It sounds like they've made them for about 20 years and then they just discontinued them about nine years ago. I took the chance. Can you stop watching me? Oh, wow. I didn't know you could see me watching you from the future. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. Get back to it. Pass Boba. Well, hello, everybody. Bowie here. Today, I'm going to be doing a video on my new microphone. And god dang, is it hot in my room right now. All right, guys. So if you saw the intro, um, I wanted to upgrade my microphone for my YouTube channel. Um, I was using my lapel mic here. And then I was using a Rode Micro um, shotgun mic that would attach to the top of my camera. And honestly, you know, I feel like both those microphones serve a really good purpose. But I just really wanted to upgrade my audio, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So as you saw in the intro, I went on eBay and I came across the Shure SM89 microphone, shotgun microphone. You could beat somebody with this. Um, But yeah, so I've been looking into getting like a more studio quality microphone for a little bit. Um, If you guys cannot tell already, I, I already know I'm a small YouTube channel. Want to thank you guys for the 30 subscribers, by the way. Though my ESO build video is getting yeah. out of here. <laughs> Might be the last time I make a ESO video, build video. Holy crap, man, that thing's got a lot of dislikes. Uh. Anyways, <laughs> got something in my eye. Um, so yeah, I digress. Today we're going to be talking about the Shure SM89 microphone. So a little bit about this microphone. This microphone was... Manufactured by Shure, which is a very, very, very good microphone audio company um, known to build high quality microphones. Um, pretty much they're, they, they say they're destruction proof. Uh, a lot of rock stars and stuff use the legendary Shure. I can't remember the name, but let's just say they've thrown them on stage and thrown them around and the things will still work. Gosh dang, I got a hair in my eye. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, Shure makes really good microphones. Uh, they're a little higher end company. Um, a lot of uh, YouTubers, podcasters, and content creators, Twitch streamers, live streamers use Shure microphones. They're phenomenal. Um, but uh, yeah, so this microphone was manufactured from the 1980s up until I think 2011. Um, the main purpose of this microphone was for uh, studio type use on, on the scene news coverage, a lot of times uh, they would use this microphone for, you know, like I said, on the scene news coverage outside. Uh, and the reason for that is, is this is a very super directional microphone. So pretty much whatever you aim it at, it's gonna pick up sound. Um, so right there in the front, right there in the barrel there, um, it's gonna pick up sound. And that is kind of what I wanted for this microphone. I wanted a very directional, um, high quality microphone. And that's, that's really what this thing was made for. This thing was made for uh, TV shows, news broadcasts, you name it, it was used for it. Uh, so it's a very good microphone. Now, the MSRP on this microphone when it first came out and when it was brand new, I think it was around a 900 to $1,000. Um, and so it was a, it was a very high-end microphone at the time. Um, it, blocks both, it blocks noises from both sides of it, so... Like I said, it's very directional. Um, so if you're outside, this is not a bad microphone. Just make sure you're using like a wind, uh, some type of wind protection on it, like a wind sock. Uh, it does come with, if you can get one, um, 
on eBay, uh, a lot of times it'll come with the hard protector, uh, which is just pretty much like PVC pipe with a sure thing over it. Um, and then it'll come with a filter. So like I said, if you use this outside, uh, make sure that you're running the filter on it um, and maybe even something a little better. Um, the good news about this microphone is this design is still used today. So there's a lot of microphone companies like Rode, Sennheiser, um, sure, <laughs> I don't know all the companies, but they all use this like pencil design. So it's not very hard to find a mount for it. And I wish I would have brought my mount over here, but I, I bought a, a cheap uh, mount off Amazon that it was like eight bucks or 10 bucks and it's a shock mount. And literally you just slide this thing in there and it'll actually prevent uh, vibration noise. So that is nice. Um, the good news about this microphone is it's got a very wide range, so it can pick up a lot of really good sounds. Um, it's got two low, bleh, low cut filters on it. Um, I keep it on just the flat because that's what everybody on the internet said to do. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what each one does, though I'm still trying to figure it out. From what I know is if you switch it over, it'll, it'll actually cance cancel out certain frequencies. And then if you leave it on the flat one, it'll kind of keep it'll allow it to pretty much pick up all the frequencies. Uh, and I kind of discovered that the hard way in my last video I made where I, I clapped really hard and uh, it actually distorted the audio really bad. Um, so keep that in mind. These are very powerful microphones. They're very sensitive uh, when you have them pointed at the subject. Um, the good news about this microphone is it's a low impedance, so it shouldn't take a ridiculous amount of power to push it. Um, it has very low hum. Uh, electric noise hum is essentially a, a frequency of electricity that goes through it and will cause like annoying noise uh, I can't remember what they call it but it's essentially noise that it's like a hum noise that will be caused a lot of cheaper microphones get it so if you have like a really cheap microphone and you have it hooked up to a power source or a mixer um, sometimes you'll get that really annoying hum in your when you go to post um, when you go to edit it and post um, this will not probably will not have it this is very a little more of a high-end microphone so um to power this you're gonna need phantom power um 11 to 52 vdc phantom power um i actually picked up a little phantom power dongle thing off of amazon i will link it in the description uh, it powers this thing fine you just gotta flip it on the phantom power mode and it also has a gain adjuster on there and it's around around 50 bucks and it just uses a um, a nine volt battery. Um, let's see what else about this microphone. That's so good. Uh, it's made of a really, really good aluminum. They call it a aircraft grade aluminum. Um, obviously that's kind of a marketing term, but yes, it is a very durable, strong microphone. You can tell it's, it's got a lot of quality built into it. Uh, sure products are known, like I said, are known for being really good. Um, and that's about it. I mean, that's really what I got for you guys on this microphone. I don't know a ton about it because there's not a lot of, ugh, there's not a ton of information on the internet about it. Uh, this is an older microphone. So you got to understand they stopped making this thing in 2011. Um, YouTube was obviously around in 2011, but you know, the, all the videos that I found on this microphone were from like 10 years ago or nine years ago. So I wanted to make this video so that if other people see this microphone on eBay and maybe they're a content creator or they want a really good microphone for a good price, uh, they should not skip on this thing. This is a good microphone. And like I said, the MSRP on this thing when it first came out was around $1,000. I think it dropped down in the later years to like 800. Um, but you can still get these things right now on eBay. I've seen them go for $200 and I paid 170 for this one. So it was a steal of a deal. Um, but the downside is obviously you're not gonna be able to power this from your camera. You're not gonna be able to just plug it straight in your camera with an adapter um, to your... So after I had to go look that up, you will not be able to plug an XL female side cable into this with a 3.5 millimeter jack on the other side and plug it into your camera and it's gonna be able to record. Um, that's not how this is gonna work. You're gonna have to have something that's gonna power this microphone with phantom power. Um, so like I said, I went and purchased a a uh, little dongle thing that has like the 3.5 millimeter jack, but has like a little power brick in the center where you can adjust the gain and it'll actually supply phantom power to the, uh, the microphone itself. And it actually seems to work really, really good.
Uh, like I said, it comes with a filter. If the one you order from eBay, again, they don't make this microphone anymore, so the chances of you getting it new is probably pretty rare. Um, but like I said, on eBay, people seem to be selling them quite frequently. Um, and then it'll come with a protective case. So if you ever need to travel with it, this thing's gonna keep it nice and protected. I mean, not only could you beat somebody to death with the microphone, but you could probably beat them to death with the case as well. Kappa. Um, I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, as, as far as I've seen it, I mean, I've seen these go for around 200 bucks. Like I said, I paid 170 for mine. Um, yeah, I mean, that's about it for the microphone. Sounds great. I think the only thing we have to do next is a microphone test. So we are going to be testing, um, this against the only other microphones I have. So we're gonna be testing this against four other microphones. We're gonna be testing it. Sorry, three other microphones. We're gonna be testing it against my lapel mic here. We're going to be testing it against my standard microphone in the built into the camera itself. Um, and then we're going to be testing it against the Rode Micro. All right. This is the sound test on the Rode Micro on camera microphone. Uh, it has no external power, which is being powered by the camera itself. I like turtles. Yes, I do. I like turtles. How about you? All right, this is the sound test on the lapel microphone. Um, I like turtles. Yes, I do. I like turtles. How about you? All right, this is an audio test of the microphones built straight into the camera. Um, I'm thinking they're probably not sounding very good. I like turtles. Yes, I do. I like turtles. How about you? All right, this is the test of the Shure SM89 microphone. Now, I'm gonna have a feeling that the Shure 80 SM89 is gonna probably compete pretty close with the uh, lapel microphone, which I do plan on doing a review down in the future. Uh, but the lapel microphone you can get for $20. I will link it down in the description if you guys are interested in it. I like turtles, yes I do. I like turtles, how about you? And one thing to note, that the Shure, Shure SM89 microphone might be picking up a little bit of echo bouncing off my table into the microphone itself. So if you guys look over here, I actually have acoustic foam that is uh, trying to minimize the bounce of echo. So I do need to work on my room a little bit to make sure the bounce is not too bad because a microphone like this really does need some good isolation um, in a contained area like this. Um, one thing I, you could try with something like the Shure microphone is you could try to um, stick it like stick it like a, just above the uh, the table here and like under instead of over and down, um, that could work. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the conclusion of the Sure SM89 review, kind of. Um, this is 2020, 2020. Um, so just so you guys know that this microphone is not manufactured by Sure anymore. So the only way you can get this microphone is secondary market. Um, but if you see one and you're interested in a pretty decent more high tier microphone for a good price and you can afford to buy something to power it. Um, this is a great choice for a studio beginner microphone. Now, obviously this thing is probably still not going to compete with some of the more high end microphones that Sennheiser and Rode makes, but this microphone still holds it own, holds it, yeah, holds its own. So, um, I hope you guys like the intro. I'm trying to do some more interesting things with stuff because you know, I want to be entertaining for you guys. But uh, yeah, if you liked this video and you found it helpful, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.